Kilo is today Sloppy Joe's. In my breath reeks of tuna, and there's lots of black hairs coming out of my nose. Oh, hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, navy beans, hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders. Navy beans, navy beans, meatloaf sandwiches. Flop. We misunderstood. I know, I know. <laughs> they didn't understand. I, I played my heart out. Yeah. We practiced. Leftovers practiced. for a year. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Disney World. Woo! We just like to thank. Um, we had help with our choreographing. Yeah, you look goofy too. <laughs> Let's head inside to hear from our academic dean, our director of residential life, and our dean of boarding. FAA determines credit transfer uh, by working with an expert consulting agency. We require all of our applicants to provide us with an official and complete transcript from each school that they've attended prior to coming here to Foxcroft Academy. That transcript should include a complete list of all of the courses that that student uh, was enrolled in and the grades that that student earned in each of those courses. We also uh, need some supplementary material to help us to understand how much time was spent in each of those courses as well as the specific topics that were covered in each of those courses. We will then pass those documents on to our consultants who will help us to determine what progress towards graduation a student has made and what coursework uh, the student is most ready for. Uh, we will make the final decisions once we get that information back from our consultant uh, depending on the abundance of material that was provided and we'll always do our best to make sure that our students are set up with a program that makes uh, them graduate on time and well prepared for post-secondary education. The process of selecting a course of study requires students to know three things. What courses do they need in order to meet our graduation requirements? What courses should they take in order to best prepare themselves for the particular college or types of colleges that they're interested in attending after Foxcroft Academy, as well as knowing what they're interested in? Um, so what we do is we work with students um, to understand all of those three things and to select courses that meet those uh, various requirements, um, suggestions, and interests. It's important for students to understand that although we offer hundreds of different courses at many different levels, um, not all of those courses are offered during every period of every day. And so what that means is that sometimes courses end up um, being in conflict with other courses. And so a student might want to take two or three different courses that are all offered only at one specific time of day. And so that requires students to make tough choices. Ultimately, those choices need to be guided first and foremost to meeting graduation requirements 
and then after that students can fill in open spots in their schedule with courses that will help prepare them for success in college as well as courses that they're just simply interested in um, because of their you know personal interests we don't give incoming students as much choice in their scheduling process as we do students who have spent some time with us. So returning students have a little bit more flexibility than our incoming students. If you're a first year student here, we will place you in a course of study that we believe you can be successful in, that will challenge you, that will prepare you well for post-secondary success, and ultimately that will meet our graduation requirements. Once we have a better sense of your academic strengths here at Foxcroft Academy, we will then give you more freedom and more choice in selecting uh, the level of courses that you need, the courses that you need for graduation, the courses that will prepare you for college. So when you first arrive, we are um, a little bit more controlling of that process um, to make sure that you're going to be able to meet success when you very first get here and then uh, we give you a little bit more choice progressively as you have more time here um, so that by the time you're ready for graduation you're really um, getting closer and closer to that college level experience of having almost complete control over what courses that you're enrolled in. At Foxcroft Academy students have uh, eight in-house AP courses to choose from and have 13 or more AP courses to choose th from through our online partners. The AP courses that we offer in-house and that we offer access to through our online partners have all been approved by the College Board, which is the authority over AP courses, as having the depth and breadth of study to actually replicate a college level course in that subject area. The eight courses that we offer here at Foxcroft Academy um, in-house include three AP Science courses, Biology, Chemistry, and Physics. We offer two AP Math courses, AP Calculus AB and Statistics. And then we offer one Social Studies AP course, AP US History, one English AP course, uh, English Literature, and one AP Art course, AP Studio Art. The courses that are offered online uh, can vary from year to year, um, but generally speaking, we provide access to almost the complete catalog of AP courses. It's important to understand that we do require students who enroll in AP courses here um, and online to actually take the AP exam for that course, um, which is offered every May. There are prerequisites for uh, choosing to enroll or being able to enroll in an AP course. Those prerequisites can include um, both academic achievement as well as permission of the instructor. And it's really important for students who are not native English speakers to note that AP courses are legitimately college level courses. And so what that means is not only is the content very demanding, but also uh, the level of uh, English that's involved in teaching that content. So it's really important that students who choose um, to take on the challenges of an AP course really reflect not only on their preparation um, in terms of the academic content of the course, but also on their uh, English level, English language fluency. Uh, because that level of fluency has a really strong impact on whether or not the student can be successful in the course um, regardless of whether the student has, for example, a particularly deep understanding of physics uh, but can't necessarily express that understanding uh, in the English language that's required both in the course as well as on the AP exam. So we offer access to a lot of AP courses here at Foxcroft Academy because we feel that students can gain an incredible experience by 
accessing college level courses while they're still in high school. That being said, it's really important, I want to caution students uh, in my role as academic dean to understand that um, AP courses are not the only part of the college uh, readiness process. Um, many students can get very focused on taking as many AP courses as we offer and even uh, taking AP exams for courses that we don't offer in-house um, because they think that scores on AP exams are a very important factor in the college admissions process. There is some truth to that, um, particularly if you're applying to a competitive uh, college. Um, it's very important that you have some degree of AP study and that you can be successful in that program. But it's also important to realize that if you put yourself in the role of a college admissions officer, um, seeing a good grade in an AP course and a good grade on an AP exam um, is only part of that admissions puzzle. What these competitive schools are also looking for are the, the well-rounded student who is participating in activities and developing leadership skills outside of the classroom setting. And so if you can't be a successful AP student either because of English language difficulties or because uh, doing so would take up so much of your time that you wouldn't be able to do things like community service or uh, taking on uh, leadership roles in athletics or through starting up new clubs and activities. Uh, so we offer access to a lot of AP courses here at Foxcroft Academy because we feel that they are a really important part of um, helping students to prepare for the challenges of college while they're in the high school setting. And that's really great but it's also important to note that um, not succeeding in an AP course confirms that a student isn't ready for college level work. Whereas being very successful in a regular high school course um, may not be as rigorous as an AP course, but it still leaves the door open to the college admissions uh, officer to think about um, that student in the role of a college student. So students should only um, pick AP courses if they feel that they can be successful both in content and in language, as well as um, if they can maintain their status as a well-rounded student. So pick AP courses if you can be confident that you'll be successful. Um, pick them because they will be an important part of the admissions process to selective schools, but don't pick them um, if it's going to make you um, have to compromise the amount of time that you can focus on your outside of the classroom activities like community service and participation in clubs and athletics. FA has a lot of great technology um, in the works right now and we have some pretty exciting plans for the future. Right now, our entire campus is covered by Wi-Fi signals, which means that students who have a wireless device, a computing device, can connect uh, anywhere in any building on campus um, to the internet. So students who bring uh, their own computer to school um, have that kind of persistent access um, to be able to connect to the internet uh, anywhere they are, any time of day, and really be able to use that gigantic uh, resource that is the internet in their learning process and in the process of developing um, the artifacts that show uh, the teachers what they have actually learned. Um, in each of our classrooms, we have a desktop computer, at least one desktop computer. Our um, library is outfitted with 12 desktop computers, and we have an applications lab um, on the third floor of the building um, that has about 20 desktop computers. Uh, we also have a classroom for our computer science courses that have uh, desktop computers that are a little bit um, higher powered and loaded up with um, professional level um, multimedia um, creation and editing software. 
Um, our library also has uh, 12 desktop computers, and those ones in particular are interesting because um, our librarian maintains um, subscriptions to databases that are accessed through the internet um, that really help students to find high quality information that they can use in their research-based projects. Also included in those databases, which may be of particular interest to students who are um, not native speakers of English and, uh, to, and or to students who are applying to competitive colleges and universities, is that those databases include test preparation materials for the SAT and the ACT, which are commonly used um, in terms of the admissions process uh, to um, many colleges and universities. Uh, they also contain test preparation material for the TOEFL, or the TOEFL, which is the test of English as a foreign language. Um, that's a test that many um, non-native speakers have to take, as well as the ACT or SAT, in order to gain admissions to a, a competitive college or university. So we, uh, we really use technology not just to fil facilitate what's happening in the classroom, uh, but also to help students in the college uh, preparation and application process. Now, that's what we do right now. What I'm pretty excited about is that um, at the end of, uh, towards the end of this semester, which is the spring 2011 semester, we're going to be bringing on board a cart of 25 iPads uh, that will complement another cart that we have of about 25 netbooks so that teachers who want to integrate technology more deeply into their teaching and learning process can sign that out, bring those um, iPads into the classroom, and uh, use them as part of their lesson or part of the unit of study. What we are also hoping to do, um, if this pilot project with iPads goes well, is actually raise some money and get an iPad for every student starting next year so that we can be sure that every student in every classroom and every minute of the day has access to an iPad tablet computer that will have wireless access to the internet as well as access to many applications that can deeply facilitate and transform the teaching and learning process. So we've got a lot of exciting things in the, in the works. We provide at Foxcroft Academy a variety of um, different activities. We realize that there are many different cultures, uh, many different interests. Um, we have everything from sports, entertainment, art, music, and of course, shopping. Um, we have done a lot of skiing this year. And the students have seemed to enjoy that. Um, we provide uh, badminton tournaments, dodgeball tournaments, basketball tournaments, you know, every, every interest that there is, um, there's some type of activity that, that interests them. It's very important that students participate in activities. Um, I believe that there's a lot of learning that goes on outside of the classroom as well as inside of the classroom. Um, you know, qualities such as uh, leadership, self-confidence, really that are gained outside of the classroom um, translate into academics. Um, we had a young lady that learned to ski this year and um, she couldn't figure it out for the longest time and you know once she got it you could see the self-confidence in her and that definitely translated into the classroom. Um, it's my job to provide your children with a learning experience um, not just in academics, but also um, to be responsible adults, to be socially, um, emotionally um, happy, um, and just to learn that um, in order to be successful, you need to do hard work. On campus, we have uh, four dorms, as well as Two of those are honor dorms, which have to be earned. You have to attain a 3.5 GPA or higher for two consecutive semesters. Um, there are a couple benefits to living in the honors dorms. Um, 
uh, I think the, the first, the main one is that um, you get a single room and um, a more, also a more relaxed schedule of study time. Um, the other two dorms um, are housed with several families, uh, dorm parents. All of our dorm parents are faculty of staff in some way at Foxcroft Academy. Um, so help is readily available to answer any questions that your students may have. Our host family option allows for a greater immersion in the American culture as well as a more intense um, learning of the English language. Um, most of our host families have, have children of their own, which provides an additional setting um, that the student would think about. Um, I definitely think the student should be open to experiences and willing to learn um, and meet new people and experience the culture. Um, I think that's very important as well as I said before, it definitely translates into um, the classroom. You know, they learn to be part of a team, to work together, as well as a greater understanding of the English language. Um, we provide plenty of opportunities to provide the students with experiences that will gain them a greater knowledge of the English, cult English language as well as the American culture. Foxcroft Academy this year has signed into a partnership with NAE forming Foxcroft Academy China. The Foxcroft Academy China office is the official representative of Foxcroft Academy in China. We'll be working with the agents and as, as an exclusive partner for all of our Chinese students that come to study at Foxcroft Academy. This partnership will provide greater communication between the parents, students, as well as our agents and other agents for proper marketing and distribution of information. The relationship is not intended to replace any relationship currently with a consultant that you may have. It is simply to provide a conduit for communication with each of our students as well as their parents. And by all means, you can always contact the school for any reason or contact one of our agents and they will be sure to get you a proper answer in a very timely fashion. That is the intent of the relationship and we hope you see this relationship mutually beneficial just as we do. Please do not hesitate to contact them for any reason or contact us at the following information. Thank you. This has been a great year thus far at Foxcroft Academy. The students have provided a lot of fun. Uh, they've worked very hard in the classroom and we're very proud of many of our seniors that are getting ready to graduate and move on to college here in a few short months. Hopefully each of you have received letters to attend the graduation ceremonies for those that have seniors that are graduating. Those of you that do not have seniors are graduating, hopefully those students have enjoyed a great year. We provide a number of different activities which Mrs. Smith has already spoken to you about. We're going to continue to offer a diverse offering of our weekend activities, holiday programming, as well as anything else the students may want to do. One of the things we've really focused on this year is encouraging the students to participate in as many activities as possible. We really believe that learning goes far beyond the classroom walls and we want the students to be engaged in cultural, sporting events, as well as just general fun. Each of the students work very hard each single day in the classroom and we want to be able to reward them with some downtime and structured activities on the weekends and holidays. This year we, you know, we have 100 almost 100 boarding students in our, in our boarding program representing 11 different countries. The students have been able to take advantage of those unique cultures and experiences through such events as our International Food Night. We're going to continue to have more cultural events such as that. And one of the things we've done this year is uh, we've since instituted a formal dinner night where students have been able to come, come into the cafeteria, have a nice formal sit-down dinner 
uh, not only with our faculty and dorm parents, but special guests, VIPs, and really sit with and enjoy the cultures of the other students. So we're going to continue to focus on cultural awareness, strong experiences, inside as well as outside of the classroom. Mr. Pratt has spoke to you about some of the things that we're going to continue to do in the academic realm. Mrs. Smith has talked to you about the activities and the residential life at Foxcroft Academy. And we're going to continue to rely on each one of those students to maximize their own experience during the process here. We're very excited to talk about some of the changes for the next coming academic year, 2011-2012. Mr. Pratt has spoken to you about some of the changes already that we're going to be looking to institute in the academic realm. I want to talk to you about some of the things we're looking to do strictly in the boarding program. This coming year, we're going to bring on a college counselor, experienced college counselor, to work strictly with the boarding students. The boarding students' college applications make up currently about 70% of the college applications that our counseling department processes on an annual basis. By having a dedicated college counselor, we're going to be able to provide one-on-one -on -one service at a much higher quality than we currently do. The one-on-one -on -one college counselor will be here on the boarding team and work strictly with the boarding students. This will allow them to have greater access to college information. We'll be able to provide greater college tours and, and be able to go visit some of these things. So we're very excited about that, about that new aspect within the boarding program. Some of the other things that we want to talk about is our English as a Second Language program. We're going to continue to offer the English as a Second Language program. We're looking to diversify those programs right now so we can meet all of the students' needs from advanced ESL to beginner ESL. As some of our students, such as freshmen and some other students entering other grades, uh, still haven't mastered the comprehension or the command of the English language. So we're going to continue to offer our ESL programs. But the slight change is there will be no longer any ESL fees. I feel very passionately about a very strong curriculum and ESL has to be part of that college curriculum, college preparatory curriculum for our students. We've dropped the ESL from our tuition, room and board rate. One of the things that we've had to do due to increasing cost in market uh, as well as operating expenses, we have had to make a slight increase in our total tuition rate of approximately $2,100, $2,200. In order to concede that, we've dropped those ESL rates, and you know, by doing so, we know that that's going to be appreciated by all the parents. There are some additional fees that have also changed going forward, and hopefully, you'll re you'll you'll have received that information as well. Uh, the the last thing is is going to be our activities. Coming up next year, I'm working very closely with Mr. Pratt and Mrs. Smith on developing a residential life curriculum. The residential life curriculum is going to be one such that the students will be graded and assessed on some of the very basic values that we believe in our residential life program. Becoming an independent thinker, becoming independent, uh, personal hygiene, some of those other areas as well as community service, living as, living as a community, uh, all those different things. That information will be coming to you as soon as possible, as soon as we reach the final development of that. Lastly, the, thing, the last thing I want to talk to you about is our summer enrichment program. Our summer enrichment program is a program that we've designed for this year to not only focus on our TOEFL test preparation, SAT pre test preparation, but also our ESL program. This is a three-week program that we're going to run in the month of August prior to the school of start of school. It'll be a 21-day intensive course. The students will have the opportunity to engage in academics all day long with some of the finest faculty here on staff. The students will reside in the dorm, and then they'll have the opportunity to stay on board right here at campus until school starts, which is about a one-week time frame. And in that time, a lot of our students will be able to have the opportunity to help us prepare for the upcoming year, programming activities, uh, as well as just some general fun things after a, a very intensive summer program. 
please don't hesitate to contact us. Hopefully you've enjoyed hearing some of the changes about this upcoming year. Hopefully Mr. Pratt and Mrs. Smith have been able to provide you with a lot of valuable information. And again, sorry we couldn't be there with you today uh, in person, but please do not hesitate to ever come visit us here at Foxcroft, and ho we hope to see you next time in China. Thank you.